Hi guys, Jen here from A and Sense and Such and Be Scented. Long time no see. Um, I am making a custom order for a candy apple. It's been such a long time since I've made a video that I figured I would make this, even though you guys have seen this many times. So, anyways, I'm doing the heat transfer method. I've just mixed up my life solution here. This is a five pound batch of soap. These are all of just my hard oils. My liquid oils are here. I will use the hot lye. Pour slowly, because you don't want it to splash. Um, I'll use the hot lye to melt my hard oils, and then we'll add the liquid oils once this is almost all melted, and it will help bring the temperature down to where you're not soaping at such a hot temperature. So, I splashed it on my glove. I want to get it off just because I don't want it to sit there and kind of eat on my glove. I'm going to make um, cupcakes for the holidays. I'm going to work on extra cupcakes. I never have enough cupcakes. They always sell out. And I thought, you know what? I normally always do bar soaps for the holidays. This year, I'm going to do cupcakes. Now, this is a bar soap here that I'm working on for an order. But, and I've got some really cute ideas. I've got at least four batches of cupcakes that I know I want to make for the holidays. I'm going to do Jack Frost, um, and we're going to make a snowman. I'm going to do mistletoe, and we're going to make a Christmas tree. I'm going to do holly jolly, and we're going to make a Santa hat. And then I think I'm going, I think I'm doing gingerbread. Maybe gingerbread, maybe pumpkin, I've not decided. And we're going to make like reindeer poop. You know, because those two, those fragrances darken a whole lot. So I thought, you know what, we can just work with it, and we can pipe the top like uh, poo. So yeah, that's my idea. <clears throat> so I have those ideas uh, for the Santa or for the snowmen. I'm really excited. I ordered these little mini top hats online. I'm really excited for those. They're super cute. Um, I need to grab my mold. I forgot that. So I'm going to reach above your all's head. Get my mold down. I'll stick it there for now. Get my stool out of the way because you know I'm too short for everything. Where I keep my lye and where I keep my molds uh, and some of my oils, I have to have a step stool to get to because I'm just not tall enough. And I've not plugged in my stick blender, I just realized that. So let's get that going. It's been such a long time since I've made soap, I'm kind of out of practice. I will be making my facial soap um, for the holidays and oatmeal, milk, and honey. Mama? Hmm? I'll Is Athena awake? Yeah, she just walked over me. Is she up and about? Huh? We need to take her outside? Yeah. Okay, we're going to pause. Okay, we're back from Puppy Patrol. <laughs> we have a new addition to our family. Her name is Athena. She's a six week old German Shepherd. She's doing fantastic. this time. In here is my oatmeal and my kale and clay. We'll add it in here. Yeah. 
and give this a little buzz and then I'll add my cream. Let's go ahead and add our cream, which it'll help cool the temperature down too. This is just heavy whipping cream that you get in your groceries milk section. Our fragrance. This is candy apple. Okay, good. Put this over here out of our way. We'll get this divided up. We're going to need to do a red, green, and then white. Yes. Okay. There's that. Put this over here at the sink. All right. So, this is our white. Nice bright white. There's our green. Now our red, you guys have seen me do this many times. I use magic purple, deep rose, and the wild strawberry. That's the colors I use to make my red. Just a smidgen of purple. I don't know why. I just think it gives it a little something something. Strawberry. That helps give it the brighter color. And then the deep rose is a really darker color. Yeah. I think it gives it a pretty nice kind of red. All right. It's not as white as I want. Let me give us a really good shake. Sorry if that was kind of loud. That's better. We'll go over to our green. this off a little bit. I really don't want to put that green down in my red. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but get the majority of it off. See, I think that's a 
nice red. It's not a blood red. I've only went for a blood white red one time ever though, so it doesn't bother me if it's not blood red. Now we're going to do a drop swirl of the white into the other two colors. I'm going to fill them up. That one's almost overflowing. Got a little bit of white left. I'll leave it for the top. It's okay. Now, let's get our mold. Start with this one since it's the fullest. Kind of just drop a layer in there. Where it's so full. At first, it's kind of hard to pour. This is one of my most popular soaps. Makes such a pretty design. Leave a little bit to do it one more time. Not really shaking it, shaking it up. Kind of loosen it up just a little bit. It kind of pours and doesn't plop. Put the last of this green one in there. And the rest is for the top. can see. I forgot to check. Make sure you could see. But you could. drop down in there. Alright. I think we'll do white in the middle. I have the most of the white. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect by no means. I never am a perfect soaper ever. I don't know of anybody who is. Well, there may be a few that are just awesome. Get 
get my grain spread in there. Now, let's turn this mold around so I can get to the red side. <clears throat> Chopstick time. Just gonna kind of use it to clean the sides of the molds of the mold. There's not more than one. Beautiful. Now, we'll do glitter and we'll call this one done. Of course, I'll bring you guys back when we cut it. But let's get some glitter on there. We'll see you later. Hey guys, we're back to cut the candy apple. And I thought I would show you how easy our mold unmolds. All I do is pop the sides just like that. Do the ends. Flip it over. And you can feel it releasing. Voila. Just like so. Alright, okay. We are back to cut this soap. And I need a paper towel. It's actually been a day since I started the video because I needed to find out how thick she wanted her soaps cut. And by the time she messaged me back it was too dark to do the video isn't that neat turned out good this soap. What are you doing? Going in the room and eat more candy. He's going in the living room to eat more candy. He says. What? Are you fussing about down there? Hmm? my foot you're chewing on ow that was my toe that you did take a bite out of we're doing one inch bars 
I'm making a video, cutting this soap, and I almost dropped that bar. That would have been bad. Yep. What are you doing, Athena? Hmm? Got Miss Athena running around. Miss Athena? Is that her name, Athena? Mr. Athena? Miss Athena. No, her name is Athena. Oh, her name is just Athena? Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.